morning. Okay, I'm cooking you an all day spaghetti sauce, you guys. Say hi to Billy. Of the kid, okay? You've been, a, you've been a good bird. Oh, the quack yeah, heads are he here. Is. The <laughs> quack heads are here. Oh, let's get the plane started. Yeah, uh, what a nice prop. Okay, so <laughs> nice prop on that. But listen to this, okay? These are fresh tomatoes cut from Buck Bay, okay? I threw them in here with only a half a cup of water. Okay, I'm going to cook these in a crock pot all day. Now, if you're doing this on a stove, simmer them. Okay, these are fresh tomatoes. This is gonna make our sauce, okay? And then I put two, uh, three tablespoons of granulated garlic in there. I put a couple tablespoons of Montreal. Um, I don't salt it, I don't put garlic in this until we get to the meat. But this is uh, all day spaghetti that I promised. I'd Let me look in there. Okay, get a peek. Get a Captain. peek here for you guys. Okay, so we're oh, gonna let wow, that look go. At them yum, 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 all day. We're gonna stew these tomatoes, okay? And uh, we'll be back later uh, after we go have some fun. Okay, kids, get your grades up and no bullying. Okay, you guys know Blue the Duck. Quack. Smurfy introduced him earlier, my gold star. Okay, our favorite prop, long card. Captain A have Squawk the Eagle, Billy the Kid, and the Quackheads, because we got a lot of new viewers. We just uh, got Arizona, more people from Arizona, Idaho. Uh, New York, um, the list goes on, man. This is really cool. Okay, so for your new viewers, um, that schooner at the beginning is John Schooner. He's the captain. I'm the galley tech first mate. Okay, we got music that you hear on the anytime you hear music on our videos, it's our own music. Check out the Rampton Project. Today is our, if you've already saw earlier, it's the all day spaghetti. Now, I learned this from um sicilian women okay that i was lucky enough to spend time with earlier in my life okay and i really listened okay to the how they make this spaghetti okay now you've seen phoebe's spaghetti that's a good camping one it's all out of the can so you saw earlier what i did i probably about 20 tomatoes okay this is garden get it out of your garden okay um, this is a great way to use up your tomatoes that are left over. You can use cherry tomatoes, use whatever, okay? Now, listen, I'm doing kind of a double batch because I'll freeze this. We're going on the road, so I'll freeze it in small stuff. We'll throw it in the freezer so when we're roadside or whatever, we can just heat it up. But I'll kind of make it quick. Let's go over what's going on. Okay, now I've got a smoked sausage here, okay? Like a kielbasa, okay? Tiny pieces chopped up, okay? Now, these ladies, they had their own... They did their own sausages. They had a farm. They did all this out of the garden. Okay, but I wanted to go over that. Okay, now this is about 10 cups of the tomato sauce that we've got here. Now I've got, now you gotta use small zucchinis, ones that don't have a lot of seeds. You don't want the, to fill this, excuse me, up with seeds. Um, anyway, chopped in little pieces, okay? So that's like one, that's about two cups. That's what it comes down to. I've got two cups of red onion. Okay, I've got a full bell pepper, and then I only had a few mushrooms. I put in a cup, a couple cups of mushrooms usually. This is all I've got. Okay, and then a cup, cup and a half of shredded carrot. Okay, now on the fire. Okay, I'll go over the meat in a second. Okay, I've got bacon grease in here. This is what they used to fire this off. Okay, now spices, oregano, uh, basil. Um, bay leaves I'm going to throw in this. Okay, now listen, I chopped up, I did fresh garlic, but I, put, I had a little of that roasted garlic left, if you've been watching the show. Okay, and this is like a four, four and a half ounce thing, so I'm going to say that's a third of a cup. Okay, you put it in the microwave, like I said, that garlic, zap it for a minute, pop, 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 comes right out, chop it up. Okay, we want fresh garlic in here. First thing I'm going to do is throw that in this bacon grease. Okay, if you don't have bacon grease, use olive oil. Okay. But that bacon grease, I can already smell this, okay? It just gives this a flavor that's amazing, okay? So I'm going to get that in there, get it going. Grandma, get your paddle, okay? And while I do this, while we get her sizzling, I'm going to talk to you what else we got going on here. Okay, so Italian sausage, okay? Now they had their own sausage, like I said. This is the smoked stuff. That goes in, okay? Uh, I've got about a pound and a half here. I use a pound and a half of like this 73% uh, fatty hamburger. And then I'm going to throw in a pound and a half. That's a pound. I'm going to throw in a pound and a half of lean. Okay, this stuff, the greases and everything else will come up. We're going to take that off the top later. Okay, so I'm not cooking my meat, draining it, and then doing this. This all cooks all these flavors together. 
Okay, so I got over that. So listen, I don't even, I don't put anything but the garlic in right now. So I'll get this out of here. Oh, and here's our, here's our compass. We going the right way, John? Yeah. Are we? Okay, yeah. so listen, what I'm going to do is, uh, where did I put my paddle, Grandma? Okay, now you can see I've been busy, beat Grandma, with my switchblade. Okay, I've chopped all this up. Boom, 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 got it ready. So there's a lot of prep in this, but you got all day. Okay, that was about four or five hours of cooking time on my tomatoes. Now, see this steam coming up? Let that garlic get in that. Let that cook down for a minute. Okay, yum. Take your time, love your food, cook your food. Immediately, you're smelling this, okay? This is good. Now, like I said, this is one all day. You've seen the Phoebe spaghetti, maybe. That's a different version. That's quick, that's easy. This is a lot more more work okay so then you're want to, gonna want to get the veggies in here okay turn that up let's get them cooking okay so what i'll do with those veggies i'm just gonna blanch these off for about 15 minutes i'm gonna let them cook down okay um it seems like a lot of onion and stuff but it's not and why we put the zucchini in there and the carrots for one the carrots uh you won't even know the carrots and zucchini are in this Okay, when this thing's done, because basically it thickens it, okay? We don't want to use tomato paste on this. We want a meaty, hearty sauce, okay? And we're going to probably add some brown sugar to it later, but those carrots sweeten it a little bit. But when you use real tomatoes like that, um, it can be a little tangy. So we'll, we'll, we'll calm it down maybe with some brown sugar later. We'll see how it does when I taste it. But anyway, we'll be back in a little bit, and we'll get to John's joke, okay? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, Grandma, get your whip. Okay, that is rolling. See that steam? Okay, get your whip in there. Knock this down now. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. Okay, it makes its own juices. Okay, so you know, you don't have to throw any water in this, anything. Okay, but if you see any. What I'm doing now is I'm knocking down that zucchini, carrots, everything down, okay? This is a melt-in-your-mouth spaghetti sauce, okay? It really is, okay? It's so good this way. Um, like I said, I learned it from some pretty special people. They were, I was lucky enough to be in the kitchen with them at their home down in, uh, down in California. Okay, so now I want to show you that. Look at that. Okay, that's knocked down good. The, the carrots are well cooked. Okay, like I said, this has kind of got a glucose in it. It's kind of a thickener. Okay, you won't even know that the zucchini and stuff's in it. Okay, go with your smoked sausage right on top. Okay, grandma, get your paddle. Just fold that in. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to give that a second while John put a lid on this. Well, John tells us a joke. I'm good, good, good. Okay, you well, ready? You sure you're ready? You I don't know. Start? I don't know. Uh, let's see if I can get this one, you guys. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, what? Uh, being it's coming up on October, what? What's a pirate uh, wear for Halloween? A parrot on his shoulder. A pumpkin patch. <laughs> really okay okay we're gonna be in trouble they're gonna kick us off of youtube for sure hey and i'm just wondering you guys have you had your pepsi today with real sugar john yeah only 90 calories okay and let's see you know what we're gonna spin the globe and see where we're cooking okay it looks like we've got to save that spot but there's a schooner look i just hit a ship so oh, it looks wow. like it's going to be seafood. Okay, we're going to go to the beach tomorrow. And I'm going to cook up either salmon or I might do shrimp. But I'm going to do another seafood one. And we're just going to go pick a, be uh, pick a beach on one of these islands and do it up. Okay, you guys? So now listen, that's up to heat. A pumpkin patch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to... When I was young, I used to do this guy's pumpkins, and he used to he used to have seven, eight hundred pound pumpkins. Wow. The pumpkin festival, wow. boom! In goes the Italian, yeah. Bang! This is gonna be meaty. In goes your ground beef.
Okay, look at this. We're gonna barely have room with all these tomatoes for this. Okay, we're gonna cook this down. We're gonna let this roll, soak all that up. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back, huh? Yeah, you guys get yourself dancing on that beach parking lot in front Dance of the mirror. Wherever you are. It's dancing and get the kids in here. See that? Okay. You can hardly even see those carrots and everything. Now listen, we keep this grease in here. We don't drain it like I said. Okay, now we're about halfway cooked. I chop it up, get it all even. Okay. This is such a good meat sauce. You're gonna love this, you guys. Okay, so now that we're halfway cooked, okay, like I said, leave the oregano. Okay, we're going to leave the bay leaves out right now, and the, lay, the oregano and the basil. Okay, but I'm going to hit it with a tablespoon of Montreal. Montreal. We should do a commercial for them, John, soon. Mm -hmm. I think we are. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Montreal. Yeah, we love it. You know that. These different shows add but, up. Yeah, we're and going to Hunt Valley. Okay, shows. so put a teaspoon of pepper on, yeah. in this. Okay, at least. Okay, it needs it. Okay. Now, time. We've got time. I put it in now. Okay, and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with a good teaspoon. Crush it up. Get it in that meat. Okay, salt. We're going to go with two teaspoons. Okay. I don't usually use a lot of salt, but this is gonna need at least a couple teaspoons of salt in it. Okay, and like I said, once we add this, we're gonna cook this now until I get the meat done, okay? Let those flavors absorb in the meat, then we'll go to the next stage, okay? This is an all day thing. So you're simmering this, okay? You're not cooking it fast. It's taking, you know, this is gonna take you 20 minutes to get through the meat. 15 minutes, you know, and like I said, if you're doing a smaller batch, I, I, I freeze this so that we can take it on the road or, uh, you know, when we travel, do it side of the road stuff. And um, anytime we just need to pull out some, uh, some sauce for dinner anyway, we'll be right back. Okay, Grandma, get your ladle. Yeah, we're going to need that, okay, because we're leaving all the juices in this meat. Okay, look at that. Oh, yeah. Now she's rolling good. Want to see that? That's a lot of grease on top. Okay, we want to leave that in there. Now, if you watch the other spaghetti, that Sophie's spaghetti, I used lean meat. Okay, it's all out of the can. It's a quick spaghetti. This is an all-day thing. Okay, and it's and it's labor intensive. Love your food. Cook your food, you guys. Get these kids in there cooking. Okay, so listen. I'm gonna now. I'm gonna put in my tomatoes. Okay, there's two, four. Five, six, I think we've got enough room. Let's do it, you guys. Okay. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that came out to about 10 cups, you guys. Now look at that. Okay, I don't know if you can see it, but you probably can. I just around the rim, you've immediately got, got your grease, okay? Don't worry about it. Leave it. Okay, I forgot paprika. Okay, we're going to want to put a tablespoon of paprika in this. Okay. Don't be shy. Okay. Italian parsley. Okay. Teaspoon. Okay. Tablespoon of basil. Let me get a spoon, you guys, real quick. Tablespoon of basil. And, um... Oregano, heaping. Okay, bang. Gotta get more spices. That's the oregano. Oregano, Joe. We're just gonna give it all. And now look at I will save this baggie because we recycle. We like getting our bags from Amazon. Yeah. We like Amazon, don't you, John? Yeah, I would agree. Okay, with that. so we've got that, we've got that. Paprika. Okay, bay leaves. Okay, get them from the bay. Okay, but up one, two. Look, I can count that fifth grade education. I want five, one for every year I went to school. 
<laughs> Better get six. I think I might have made it to sixth grade. I don't remember. Just kidding. Okay, get it in there. You guys, get your little ladle here and scoop that around. Okay, now we got to let this cook for a couple hours. Okay, and just that a low heat. Let it simmer. Okay. Let those tomatoes get in with that meat. Now look at that. That's going to just be a meaty sauce once this all cooks down. Okay, now I don't put any tomato sauce in it. You can if you want. This is more of a, just a tomato meat sauce. Okay, this is how the, how the girls taught me, ladies. God rest their soul, they're in heaven making spaghetti now. Okay, with the saints. Okay, now like I said, it's gonna be a little tart. I don't wanna get that grease, but I'm gonna go in here just a little bit, give it a taste. Let's see where the salt's at, oh, that's it. That's what we want. Now, it's a little tart as far as the tomato. So when that cooks in with everything else, I'll drain this grease out. And we'll probably add a half a cup, three quarters of a cup of brown sugar to it to knock that, to just sweeten it up a little bit, okay? We'll be back. Been about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, okay? All, you can maybe see this, and it zooms in a little bit, but it, doesn't matter, I'll talk to you. Listen, all that grease has come to the top. This has been boiling and going good. This is a great meat sauce, okay? Now, if you like it thicker, okay, this is just the way I was shown. This is cooked down good. Okay, now it's still got to cook maybe another 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, but before that, okay, I tasted it, okay? You want to get under that grease and it's a little tomatoey okay now this is what the, this is what the ladies would do okay i've got about a third cup brown sugar in that now hit it really good one last time knock those tomatoes down with your whip okay grandma's whip get that going any tomatoes that are still large, getting all smashed in there. You can't even see the carrots, you can't see any of that. Zucchini, nothing, okay? It's all good garden flavor, okay? So this is all out of the garden, okay? Let me try that, see if I got enough sugar in there. Because it is a big batch. And if you don't have a garden, you just buy the vegetables fresh. Yeah, yeah. You know somebody with a garden, I hope. Mm-hmm. I double dip. Sorry, Dad. Ah! Ooh, that is delicious. Okay, I'm gonna let that cook another 45 minutes. Now, um, I'm gonna dedicate this show to all our new subscribers, you guys. Yeah. All right, it's click, click, clicking up, okay? And we've got, I don't know if we got the footage, but yesterday when we were uh, spying on the hippies. <laughs> yeah. We weren't spying, we are checking them out dancing. Anyway, if the, I don't know if the footage is on there, but our buddy, uh, his name's Scott, buzzed by in his little race boat. Anyway, San Diego guy, he's watching, and then Santa uh, Cruz. Santa Cruz, oops, Santa Cruz, you guys. And then uh, we got people from the Bay Area. Okay, uh, go Dodgers. <laughs> anyway, listen. No, we don't talk hand. sports. We don't talk sports. Yeah. Go Rams. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we don't talk religion either. Amen. Amen. Love you, yeah, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Okay, here we go, you guys. Get your ladle. Get Grandma's ladle. And you just slowly, while she's still boiling, those bubbles will help. Okay, you take the grease out of this. Okay. Take your time. Boom. Okay, while I'm doing this, what do we do, John? Oh, we need subscribers. Okay. Which we just said, and we love all our subscribers. So, yeah. Um, we need um, you guys to share it. And that's how this is going to grow, really, really uh -huh. grow. And we need um, likes, the thumbs up. Hit those like buttons. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to subscribe, either Too way. Too bad they don't have a love button. 
Uh, yeah, huh? Yeah. Yeah, or a peace button. Peace. Yeah. We need a peace button. Hit the yeah, peace button, you guys. Instead of a nuclear button, we oh. need a button to hit, and yeah. then all of a sudden it's just peace. Okay. So listen. Up. And we need you to um, you, comments. comments. We like the too. comments. And okay, comments you guys kind of listen. Slowing down, and we like those. So listen. After I drain this grease, before we go, okay, it's gonna take a minute. Then I will shut this down. I've I've got it on cast iron. But you've got to let this set up for at least an hour. Covered. Okay, let all that stir it. Once you get all this grease out, there's going to be a lot of grease, okay? So stir that up. Okay, we love you all. Okay, this is a great sauce. It's more of a meat sauce. Okay, it's out of the garden. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I learned this from some incredible women when I was young. And that was a long time ago. And it was amazing. And it's just something you're going to love. Okay, uh, I'll, I'm going to even make you guys a really uh, la a lasagna that they made out of this sauce, too. Anyway, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we're going to do something on the beach, on another beach. I think we're going to take the boat somewhere and do some seafood. See you tomorrow. Bye.